Hello, world. It's June 26th. You happen to have found us at Podcast 26 of Comic Beer and Sci Fi. This is Brad. I'm here with Q and Jill, and Denver's on the boards, keeping track and keeping us in line because we're about to talk to you about everything comics, beer, and sci-fi. And today, we celebrate our Independence Day. Hells yeah, baby. Hells yeah. <laughs> so everybody's seen the movie, right? Say right. Right. <coughs> uh, that was uh, left. That, Jill, that was left. You're that supposed was to say right. middle. Left, middle. <laughs> Jill, you're not getting paid this week. Uh, yeah, yeah. Caddy yeah. corner. Caddy corner. Because <laughs> yeah, right. it wasn't right. Yeah, that was not right. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you? When was the last time you saw the original from 1996? Oh my gosh! Actually, I think I seen pieces of it like maybe a year ago. You, did, you at least <laughs> didn't study. You didn't rent the video so you could study up. Rent the video. Yeah, I've seen oh, that movie a million I'm sorry. times. She doesn't own the video. I know. Rent this for a, 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 two well, copies. The library, two right? copies. Two copies. Regular Blu-ray. Do you rent yes. from the library or do you check no, out you, from the no, library? No, you check it out check and you bring it, it back. And it's okay. free. Did I mention it was free? Okay, be- free. before we get into the independent oh, yeah. talk, let's, uh, let's mention what oh, we are drinking today, today. We are from our good friends at Right Brain Brewery. They have no idea we're drinking this, so I'm making that friends thing up. In Traverse City, Michigan, which is near and dear to our heart and somewhere between our pinky finger and our ring finger on our right hand. And for all you people that's not from Michigan, that's how you tell where you are. There you go. (laughs) Uh, We are drinking Looping Owl, an amber ale aged in whiskey barrels, which means it's going to taste like Kentucky. Let's check. Mmm, it has nice... Has nice nose. Oh, and you can taste the bear. You can taste the whiskey. Oh yeah, big time. This is whiskey beer. There's a there's an old song like oh I should have if I knew I could have we could have had it running in the background that would have been awesome. Um, we'll put that in the good. comments down yes, below. Yes, I will as soon as I look it up and find out what it is. But in other words, tasty. we're gonna get drunk from whiskey and beer, and I'm gonna get double drunk tonight. Take one step, one step. Well, I, too yeah, late. I took two. Yeah. You, you could take the bottle home with you. <laughs> Huzzah and hooray. Uh, this just, they just keep getting better and it better. Is. And it's, you know what? It's got a nice head on it. It's got a beautiful color. <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. Um, it's very good. Who doesn't like head? What? Hmm? Not head Not cheese. Beer, right? That's the worst. Well, Have you yeah, ever seen that stuff? It's disgusting. Okay, good All point. you need is a little salt. <laughs> oh, you'll get the salt, baby. You'll get the salt. <laughs> that's naturally occurring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to say that. That comes natural. <laughs> I'm sorry. St- wait, in the words of Denver, stay on target. There stay on target. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would like to start on a bit of a somber note, and this seems to be a recurring oh, uh, pattern yes. that we're having yes. this oh, year. No. Do the obits first. Yes, get that out of the Bad way so first. that we can have fun later throughout the rest. But Try to. Last weekend, almost exactly a week ago today, uh, the news was released that Anton Yelchin oh, was yeah. found dead at his home. Apparently, he was crushed by his own vehicle as he was leaving. They think he stopped to get the mail out of his mailbox or something like that, and the car rolled back and crushed him between the car and the, the post for the, the box. That's horrible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, Terrible. That's, that's a yeah, horrific He was young. To, only 27 years old. That's younger than me. Oh, my gosh. So anyone who's not familiar, uh, Anton Yelchin is one of, I would say, one of the geekiest actors around. Yep. He's been in, uh, of course, the three Star Trek movies. Mm-hmm. He was also in Termina- Terminator Salvation, which came yes. out the same month that the original Star Trek Kyle came Reese. Out. Oh. Kyle Reese. He was also the voice of Clumsy from the Smurf movies and oh. video games. He, wow. was, he starred in Fright Night and most recently this past right. year. Right, when, when he was younger, much younger. He like started he was when out he was a, as a teenager. Yeah, Hearts of Atlantis was, yeah. his, uh, I think, his first big movie, movie yep. role, which was a Stephen King right. story with Anthony Hopkins. And uh, he did a ton of TV, and yep. uh, uh, most recently he was seen in Green Room with Patrick Stewart. Yeah. Oh. Now, are, yeah, they're not disgusting. saying it's, like, alcohol-related. They're saying it's, like, a freak accident? Yes. Well, no. uh, his Jeep was under a recall from uh, uh, from Chry- who, Chrysler. Chrysler. They made Chrysler. Jeep. Yeah. Uh, and the recall had to do with... 
transmission slippage. And it popping mm-hmm. out of gear. Mm-hmm. Right. So his estate's going to be suing the crap out yes. of Fiat. Well, it looks basically. like there's a $5 million class action lawsuit against Fiat Chrysler. Yeah. yeah. It's going to get bigger, I imagine. Oh, I imagine. In other that's words, nothing. Chrysler's still having problems with their transmission. Yes, yeah. and the moral of the story is if you get a recall notice, take it in immediately. Immediately. They send those recall notices. I wouldn't even drive it. I would have it towed at that point. Especially the transmission. Mission, that's yeah. serious. I've had some recalls where it's like, oh, the blinker doesn't work properly. Yeah. Right. Or it might short out. But the transmission, right. that's kind no, of important. No, it's kind of important, yeah. yeah. Well, it's like the airbag with... Uh, Everything that's needed the airbag when our Hondas got the the notice or the ignition we, switch. Yeah, we when just your car took them, cuts Just off. took them in, yeah. you know, because those things blown up. I've been hit by a, an airbag and it pretty much singes every hair on your face. And if it's exploding, that's even worse because it was hot. And on you, Brad, that's a lot of hair. That is a lot of hair. <laughs> that's that a lot of hair. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of singing. <sighs> yes. Oh, yeah. oh it's okay. So rest in peace to Anton Yelchin. Yes, indeed. He, Who joins Spock? Indeed. He will be uh, seen next month in Star in, Trek. In the Beyond. new Star Trek, yep. So uh, we'll at least have that. Well, at least to he has look a nice legacy. Did, was he? Did he have any heirs? Did he have a wife and child? No, nope. he's a single no. boy. Just and he was the only okay. child. Yeah. And oh, he was wow. a he were uh, he was a, a, a Russian immigrant. He was actually so he was born. really Russian. I was yes. going to ask you that mm-hmm. he was born in Russia, moved here. Well, let's do a, a cheers to him, Nastrovia. Nastrovia, indeed. I'm not going to pretend to say that. I've been a good job. And all oh, look! Voices. We have a new entry today. How do you like that? It's Mr. Mark Myers. Thank you so much for joining us today, Mr. <laughs> Myers. We have a bag of green peas covered with wasabi for you. I hope you like them. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. Don't, we ha- we don't. had to do an on air mic check here. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, there we go. Now we can. Don't underplay it, Mark. The delicious. Have you tried some beer? Would you like some beer? Did you try the beer? It's 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 delicious. It's looping owl, not to be confused with night owl. It's been in whiskey barrels. No, I haven't. Oh, here, let me pop the top for you and pour you a sip. Okay, these guys sound like Uh, uh, we're in accent overload. Uh, Apparently, (laughs) abort, abort. Yeah, right. (laughs) All right, uh, we, in the past, we have complained. Uh-oh, Mark's uh, reacting to the beer. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I don't like it. <laughs> Just for you guys at home, it took him 30 minutes to say, I don't like it. The unexpert opinion yes. uh, does not like it. Yeah, there's, this is not a sweet, fruity beer this week. I thought I'd change it up a little bit. Well, First you know. time in a month. Well, it's yeah. got whiskey in it. Whiskey makes you grow hair. That's probably why you got no hair, huh? <laughs> you don't like whiskey. Should he pour some on his head? On his head. Oh, top, God. Mark took his shirt off. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. All that beer just came up. It's all over the table, guys. I'm sorry. That is not what you said last night. <laughs> oh. All right, all right. Before this uh, goes off on a horrible tangent, uh, let's talk about the Saturn Awards. Uh, okay. Those were this week, mm-hmm. and it uh, is hosted by the Academy of Science Fiction, Fantasy, and Horror. And, uh, you know, in the past, we've complained about how the Academy Awards and all these different various award shows kind of uh, uh, stuff our, our kind of entertainment to the side. So this is a, a, an award show that's all about the, the kind of movies and TV shows that we like. Um, best science fiction film was Star Wars Force Awakens. Yay. Best comic to film movie was Ant-Man. Pleasant surprise there. Wow. Yeah, that's they, a huge surprise. They gave out a best fantasy film, which is for uh, Disney's Cinderella, directed by Thor director Kenneth Branagh. Well, at least he got something right, because he <laughs> fucked up Thor. <laughs> and uh, best horror film was... Uh, my personal favorite director, uh, Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro, Crimson Peak. Ah, that's Ooh. a good one. That was a good ah. one. And I'm actually I like ashamed. Crimson Tide better. <laughs> that was actually a really good movie, but we'll stay on target. That's right. That is not a... Uh, Comics, nor beer, nor right. sci-fi. Okay, so let's just quickly, we'll run down the list uh, real fast. Harrison Ford won for Best Actor in a Film. As he oh, should. As he should have, even though that... 
Okay, I keep Charlize Theron one for Mad Max Fury Road. If I hear one, one arm leaning, if I okay. hear one more fucking award for that goddamn movie, uh, don't it's, hate. It's a, it's moderately a, angry Max. It's a classic. <laughs> <laughs> it should be Silent Max. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. Adam Driver won for uh, Kylo Ren, Best Supporting Actor, Best yeah. Temper Tantrum. Jessica J- Chastain <laughs> won for Best Supporting Actress, Cr- uh, uh, Crimson Peak. And hmm. uh, let's see, we got uh, Best Director, Ridley Scott for The Martian. Best Writing was for Force Awakens. Um, we'll skip through some of these technical awards. We'll get down to uh, Best Science Fiction Television Series. Ooh. Continuum. Any of you guys watch? Yes, this? Ooh, I used to really yes. like that show. I just haven't seen it this season. Now is that on the Sci Fi Network? Because I am not. I thought it was. Not it's on the CW. No, it's on the CW. Yeah, it's on the CW. Yeah, it's on the CW. It was. Okay. So yeah, you it's haven't on the CW. Continued. Continue. I have not continued. Continued. <laughs> now here's a show. Maybe he's been too contained. <laughs> here's a show I've been uh, wanting to watch. Uh, that won best fantasy series, and that's Outlander on Stars. Oh, I, I finally got yeah. Stars so I could watch Ass versus oh, the Evil right. Dead. So Outlander has been on my uh, to do list. Oh yeah, Ash and Evil Dead. I missed best I'm horror uh, series is The Walking Dead. Right, of course. Mm-hmm. And, and best action slash thriller series, which is a personal favorite of mine, is Hannibal. Oh, ah, I actually thought that. Okay, the now hmm. canceled NBC series, um, which was just I oh they canceled it. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. Um, so we got best superhero series. Any guesses? Daredevil, The Flash. Really? Flash. I was yeah. gonna say Supergirl. Yes. No, it wasn't Supergirl. And they gave, they have a. <laughs> I know a lot of people that actually enjoyed that. I, and I'm one of them, but no, it wasn't Supergirl. Oh, yeah. uh, just a slight aside. Did you see Linda Carter is going to be playing the president? On yes, Supergirl on Supergirl. Now. Okay. Which yes. is moving over to CW, as we've mentioned. Well, Which they got to bring something to the show. Four part con- crossover, crossover yeah, episode. That's be awesome. Excellent. That's going to okay. be awesome. Okay. Now they have a category called new media. Mm-hmm. Which is essentially just streaming. Okay. Uh, so the best streaming series is Daredevil. Daredevil. There yeah. you go. Oh, I, yeah. oh, that's what they I call concur. stuff from like Netflix and. Well, technically it is streaming. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, because they had a they had um, uh, they had some Netflix. They had some Amazon Prime. The Man <laughs> in the High Hulu. Castle, um, and they also have. Um, what? Hulu? Hulu. Hulu, Hulu yeah. yeah. I don't know if they got any nominations, but... Uh, yeah, they don't have a... They have some original series, but I don't think they have anything to us. Yeah. And best television presentation, which I'm assuming means best TV movie, mm-hmm. is uh, the Doctor Who special, The Husbands of River Song. So I'm a huge Doctor Who fan, so anytime that wins anything, I'm, Doctor Who. I'm all for it. <laughs> okay, so now here's the TV acting awards. Uh, my personal favorite award of the night... Bruce Campbell won Best Actor oh, for Ash vs. Evil Dead. Um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the, uh, the woman from <laughs> Outlander, uh, Katronia Balf. Question okay, mark, question Katronia mark. Barf. I mean, um. uh, she won f- uh, Best Actress for Outlander. Mm, Richard Armitage, who played the, uh, was it? Uh, the head, the head, um, the head, the head, uh, yeah, he was in the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. He, he, he also won. played in that storm movie that was made in Pontiac. Yes, into the storm. Into the storm. Yep. Into the storm. Yeah. Well, he won for a uh, supporting actor on Hannibal. Oh. He played uh, what was the character with the uh, the Cliff Palette, the one from Manhunter. Oh, Delahide. Yes. Yes. Uh, I forgot his first name. Um, um, yeah, okay, so we got Best Supporting Actress was Denai Guerrera from The Walking Dead, Michonne. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and then they, this is kind of like a consolation prize. Best Performance by a Young Actor, which is Chandler Riggs, for, also from The Walking Dead. Okay. Well, The Walking Dead just Carl. keep on winning. So what's Carl. Carl. It's Coral. 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 What's a, uh, what's a young actor, 16 and under? I guess. Or, well, I mean, under, you really under, watched an age under. on the show, though. Well, he plays a young actor, so, so we got, he's He started really young. We got, yeah, he's uh, 100 now. Best so. guest star on a television show, William Shatner on Haven. Huzzah. Didn't see that one. Oh. I didn't I see that Haven was coming. It came back? I had the pleasure of taking Don't a Don't forget, this him. is from the previous year. Oh, okay. I think it might be canceled now. <laughs> God. 
Brad. <laughs> Probably the world's longest acceptance speech. Hopefully he wasn't there to. I just want to thank everyone <laughs> for Comics Beer and Sci Fi for <laughs> this award. It means a lot to me. Let's just hope he didn't sing. <laughs> That would be that would be good. Okay, uh, <laughs> Transformers Five is going to be shooting in the Detroit area. Of course. I'm going downtown. You know why, right? I hear because, because, because I'm hoping the to be an extra. Station. They need the train station. Yeah, well, yeah. I think that's been an. And we have enough abandoned yeah, buildings yeah. that can yeah. blow up and it won't affect the and city. The state, the state <laughs> you know. I heard uh, Mark Wahlberg's already here in town. There's been Mark, some sightings. Mark I know. Yep. Yeah. And he his six down. kids. I love him. They said he was downtown <laughs> getting some good vibrations or some shit like that. I don't know. Actually, he was opening up uh, Wahlburgers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. He, they're shooting for his show this week um, because they're opening a Greek town location. So he was out yesterday promoting, trying to get people to come down. and promoting the Transformers. Say hi to your mother Wahlberg. for me. <laughs> say, say hi to your burger for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh God! Wow. So what about this extra I'm business? Dirt-dickler. You've already heard word of Marky their Mark needing extras. The so. Yeah, they did a they did a pretty wide call. Go on pretty much any local news site, and they've got all the links. Oh. Uh, it was in the, the really? local media. They yeah, did. they did they it just already. Need people to run away from disaster. That's what it's all. That's about. all it is. That's I can all play damsel in from. distress. No victims. worries. They, they, Vict- they, they just need victims. <laughs> hey, I already got a couple. Oh, shut up. It's gonna cost them a lot more than seventy five bucks to get me to run. I, I think I would pay 75 bucks to see that. <laughs> I mean, I, I'd love to see you run five feet. I got $25 slow in the pocket. Slow motion. I can do hey, slow motion. Hey, first of all. <laughs> run slow motion, uh, honey. We can uh, do that. First of all, Brad is an excellent runner. Uh, you did not see the Fat Man versus Superman trailer? That was him. That was not CGI, people. <laughs> You're rocking the flash right now, though. Maybe the things change this year. <laughs> that was not CGI, people. Yeah. <laughs> That's true, and that was on sand, a and variable that surface. Sand. That's exactly. difficult. <laughs> Thank you. Where's more beer? I want. Some That's beer. all right. We're going to Miami. We're going to do Fat Bad versus Superman Beyond, <laughs> 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 or Civil War. It's a working title. <laughs> Let me ask you guys. Uh, this is kind of a Q-centric topic. I don't get um, this week. They announced that Brian Cranston is going oh to be my starring God. in the that Power Rangers. That was so Rangers. funny. Yes, that was hysterical. That 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 YouTube thing you put up there. Somebody, yeah, Q put that up yeah, there. But actually, yeah. it was a great was mashup. They took a scene from Breaking Bad and inserted that into a classic. Was episode it from Breaking Bad? It was from another. I thought yeah, it was from, from that other show that he does he where he's evolved, yeah, no, where that he's was from like Breaking this mean ass mofo. Oh, that was definitely. Oh, I thought it was Breaking a business Bad. show he was on. Uh, one Breaking thing for Bad. sure: the Power Rangers will will have to tread lightly. <laughs> <laughs> For certain, <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to it to see the pirates out there on the corner yeah. pushing crystal meth. It's gonna be good. It sounds like one hit wonder episode. I don't know. Somehow, <laughs> I think the Blue Ranger will be his favorite. <laughs> oh no! We're gonna have to get Jesse Pinkman to be a Power Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> well, mm-hmm. Bitch, it's, it's getting easy. high time. No, <laughs> they're doing a good job with the casting. You got Elizabeth Banks, who's great. You got Brian Cranston. Is awesome. Yeah, they've got the. Uh, they released the teaser poster, which looks really, actually, kind of artful. Not cornball and cheesy. Someone's like. becoming a fan of the Power Rangers. Mm-hmm. They are it's too slowly. late to jump on the wagon. They're slowly <laughs> winning me over. That's for sure. It's okay. only reserved for us true fans that have been here from day one. I'm sure yeah. they'll take his money at the movies. <laughs> uh, go go Power bring Rangers! Him and, bring him and his kids so they can. Well, see you know, as long as we get enough to get a sequel, that's all I, I care love about. The Power Rangers. I had every figurine. I had the suitcase. Had, had where every- are they? It's yeah. what growing up, Brandon. Yeah, and my mom. That stuff away. Yeah, oh. She cleaned up my toys. I didn't clean them oh, up. Oh, okay. exactly. Yeah. Went away to camp and came home, and all your dolls were sold yeah. at the garage to, sale. They went to Toy Heaven. <laughs> toy Heaven. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> all right, there was a, a couple. I don't want to do this anymore. No. <laughs> 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 got all weepy there. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got a little pump. Let's out. pour a little out for the Lost Rangers. I'll pour a little out for the Lost Rangers. Pour it out into your mouth. There you go. Right, yeah, out of the no cup wasting. into my mouth. No wasting. There we go. If it yeah. makes you feel any better, I had all. I had the entire original set of Star Wars. Wars. I knew you were going to say that. And I gave them, passed them down to my cousin, who passed them on to her brother. 
And by that point, they're destroyed. They were not, yeah, <laughs> Dang, and then you and look just, online and realize you could have had a, been a millionaire. And you're just like, yeah. I'm actually mm-hmm. just going to, you know, be sadder for you now. But you know what? <laughs> I feel more happy that they were enjoyed through generations than just looked at. At least they were enjoyed. You got to yeah, appreciate well, they that. Were played well, well, he could have enjoyed play the with them, a lot you more. You buy a set to save, save that nobody touches yeah. that you can pay for your college with. Hey, as and a, then you as have a another kid, set in the 1980s. Yeah, yeah, so. See, but nowadays it's like they make a billion of something and it's not the same value. It's not value. valuable anymore. Yeah. Well, you can blame that on China. <laughs> well, But they, she's dead now, so forget about it. Oh. Oh, too soon. Yeah, they're too soon. Too soon. China with an I, one N. That's why. And, 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 and no porn videos. And no porn videos. Ooh. I don't know about the porn videos. I don't I've know. seen some. No, that's Japanese, <laughs> Japanese porn. Are. Never mind. You're Japanese absolutely right. Well, hey, they all look yeah. alike. And the famous words of Denver stay on target. Stay on target. I'm going to say, because now we're coming with porn in sci fi. <laughs> stay on target. I, like, I love the fact that you guys are doing my Jap porn. <laughs> no problem. That's hysterical. Okay. We, got, <laughs> <laughs> we got two musical items. We don't normally talk music. But there was a Suicide Squad oh. music video Fair. released. Uh, the title is "Sucker for the Sucker for Pain." Sucker okay. is the opti- optimal word. Okay, and don't talk about the other one. Don't even mention that other piece of shit. Well, the reason I brought up the Suicide Squad, <laughs> suicide squad uh, com- uh, music video was because it had a <laughs> lot of extended clips that we've seen in the trailers in little tiny one or two second shots. <laughs> So what they're doing is they're basically just giving us a little bit more of that. So I don't think there was any new footage, but it's a couple of new shots, but nothing important. Yeah, more extended. <laughs> yeah, sorry. you all right over there, Brad? Oh, no, I, I have no idea. My allergies are way out of control or the today. Wasabi. Yeah, I wish it was just. The I have a feeling though that the Suicide Squad is going to blow up definitely in like the goth world because it's like. And you already see so many girls wearing makeup and everything that represents Harley Quinn. So I think when this movie comes out, it's going to really blow up. Well, Q always accuses us of uh, hating on the DC world, but I got to say that this movie... Not accuse. <laughs> no, no. This, <laughs> this movie is, to me, is I'm expecting it to be the biggest movie of the summer. Maybe not the biggest money maker, but yeah. critical res- uh, reception, audience reception... I think it's going to be huge. Way more anticipation than anything so far, except for maybe Deadpool, because oh, me, yeah. me's loving the Deadpool. But oh, yeah. still, I, I I probably want to see this one more than I wanted to see the the CW Captain America movie. So yeah. oh no no it's it's going to be hard to tap Civil War, but I think if any movie can do it, <laughs> well it's be... not really. Well, here's the first movie we yeah. have. We have all these badasses. <laughs> you know, it's not like they're saving the world. They're destroying fucking shit up, you know? They're all anti-heroes. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, they're bad guys being forced to be anti-heroes. That's what makes it so much better. If you guys think about it, they're really kind of copying the Guardians of the Galaxy template. They're releasing it in in August after all the big summer movies have passed. The the soundtrack, if you notice, is filled with old classic pop songs. Um, Yeah. And Guardians of the Galaxies, those were all technically yeah. criminals. They were in prison uh, as they broke out. Well, you know? yeah. uh, so I think this one's going to be a little bit more evil than the Guardians of the Galaxy, but I think it's that same kind of mode where it's all... Well, s- Guardians of the Galaxy, everybody was fighting the good fight. You know, every, they, got, they got arrested because, you know, somebody's trying to revenge their killed family. Somebody is trying to escape their crazy power hungry father somebody was in the wrong place at the wrong time somebody got kidnapped don't don't be surprised if you see a lot of these quote unquote villains recast in a more sympathetic light i have a sneaking suspicion they're not going to base a movie around a bunch of total well, scumbag everybody losers. in suicide squad are I think a bunch gonna, of total old blooded yeah. killers well they each all are going to have a vulnerable point at some well, see, they're we, gonna make them more anti-hero than probably I think just so villain. I would rather them start off as straight villains who are being forced to be anti-heroes because that's what they are. Well, in the in the they are bad guys who don't want to do anything. Well, in the good. movie though, in the cartoon series, if they fuck up and they don't do what they're told, it's Suicide Squad. They die. They're they die. pretty much well, gonna that's die. That's true. They so them. they right. don't yeah, they really have a heads. choice. Right, well, no, they don't have a choice. But that's what I'm saying. They should be what they are. They're bad guys who are being forced to right. do good. 
they are not they're really technically not anti-heroes an anti-hero is somebody who does something good to for their own selfish reasons they're being forced to do something good against their will so well, they're technically will, bad guys we will find out in a couple of months okay the other big musical item was the ghostbusters remake song with I, I, thought we oh, I thought we wasn't missing that maybe that gonna... was the horrible one no they were both horrible <laughs> well and i love missy <laughs> elliot i love missy elliot oh. i like fallout boy i like fallout boy i, I like fallout oh, boy that song but was horrible that shit was terrible they should just. They should have just had Ray Parker Jr. come back. He's been yeah. searching for a hit for the last six hundred years, Seriously. anyway. And okay, when's the last time you guys actually listened to the Ghostbusters song? Uh, when I ain't afraid of no ghosts in the neighborhood. When they play it in the trailers. Who are you gonna call? <laughs> play. He was on Jimmy Kimmel. Because I, I, I play that song all the time. My kids love that song, and it is a catchy song. It is, but and it's not a good song. It's very corny. It's, of course, it it's is cheesy. Okay, it's a but I mean, listen Sing though. It. Back in the day, Sing. when it's we first song. introduced like rap into the theme songs, like the original Ninja Turtle song, and you listen to it now, it's corny. But back in the right. day, we it used to shit to right. that. So you can't look at it as dated. today. It's That's dated. all it right. is. It's dated. Okay, so my point is. If you're going to do a remake of the song, you can't just roll out an old version of uh, Ray Parker Jr. You've got to update it. You've got to make then it. Then make it good. Yeah, that's, then that's update what I mean, it like correctly. When Prince did the Batman one because he added the sound from the old TV show. Batman. I didn't like that when he added that into the Batman 89 Batman movie. I didn't care for that part. See, I was a fan of the song because what they did was they took the original... They put a spin on it so that it sounded different and unique and of its own thing. And you threw in Missy and you got it. It wasn't. It wasn't tuneful. It wasn't tuneful. I'm going to say maybe Fall Out Boy wasn't the artist that should have did it. It was not. That's a, what I'm. You know what? Say. I haven't heard it yet, so I'm not really going to state an opinion. But it sounds to me like even those two combined, it's kind of like mixing oil with water. So. It's just I don't. <laughs> and exactly. you're trying to mix like. Rock with hip hop. I don't, think, hop, it was I don't think. I mean, there's nothing wrong but with that. Think, but it's no, like, it's not. But it's it's like you said. It's just. <sighs> I don't think it was the mixing of the two that Fall Out Boy is not to me the right genre. They should have took the song. I think they needed somebody a little funkier. Than yeah, it should have been Boy. a little bit more funkier. Yeah. But don't <sighs> MC Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he would have got all his millions from what the movie. What they want to do, they play what they want to play. <laughs> the Adam Family. <laughs> uh, all right, we got another uh, Bruno uh, Mars, maybe. Ooh, now that would have been a good that. Yeah, Bruno yeah, Mars. Good choice. Would have would have would have done excellent. Yes. That's who should have did it. I like John that. Legend could have done a good job too. No, it would have been too serious. Oh. 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 <laughs> well, if they I could see the Ghostbusters chicks doing like a video, just like he did with that Uptown Funk. Yeah, and then that's what they could have the did. Street, but know? that's how, but and the, that video could have actually been a play off the original music video when yeah. Ray Parker Jr. and the other Ghostbusters were walking, walking down, down the street. street. Yeah. yeah. I can see it. Ray Parker could have played the homeless guy, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, you're yeah. terrible. Give Ray Parker some what credit. Do mean, what do you mean could have? <laughs> <laughs> one, one hit wonder. That's all I'm saying. No, Ray Parker. Okay, I'm not going to do a music lesson with you. That's, that's I'm, I'm talking about hit. I'm not saying he didn't have other good songs. He had other saying. hits. He was in a group with Ricard Radio. They had other hits. Okay, we'll agree to disagree. You can't change that. Was that I think no, they did that. They did a song called Jack and Jill. That was a hit. It was an R and B hit. It wasn't a pop hit, but it was an R and B hit. Jill drops the mic. <coughs> okay, we got another Q uh, centric item here. Of course, we do. Uh, there was a bit of controversy over the Star Trek fan films. Oh, yes, there was yeah. a couple of movies that had raised millions of dollars and were doing feature length online movies. And Paramount basically said, nope, sorry, that's where we draw the line. Um, so J.J. Abrams, as executive producer of the new Star Trek movies, came in and said, no, 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 you cannot sue the fans. So basically what they came up with was a bit of a compromise. You can continue to make Star Trek fan films, which <clears throat> we got to start thinking of ideas yeah. here. Um, as long as it's under 30 minutes, as long as it's not a continuing series, so it has to be a one-off. One and done. One and done. 
and your budget has to be under fifty thousand dollars. How are they going to make you put a budget? That's kind of cruel. And they want to talk to your accounting office. Yeah, well, how are they going to know that? The problem is you've got these people going on Kickstarter and other. And they raise money. Right, they're raising millions of dollars. And they're making better they movies than the actual movies. <laughs> so the problem That's what it is. is what if I'm a filmmaker and I raise a million dollars? Who's the hell is to say that I'm going to be actually spending a million dollars to make the movie? Right. I could have made a hefty profit off that, spent f- half a million, and then I just banked a million, and that's making money profiting off of their oh. intellectual property. Right. So I- then they could just pay a licensing fee and, fu- and let Paramount and CBS fuck off. Yeah. That's another. I, I would. I would like to see. I would like to just. See I don't think that that's happen. what it is. I really think that some of these fan films are getting good because you have directors that are doing their own thing, and making these little fan films, well, and they're coming out better than the with movies. The, with the After Effects now, they're but doing. You know, that makes it really. What do you yeah, mean? yeah a lot of them are better than the, what they they're are. doing. Special effects now are so cheap to produce mm-hmm. that you can do a whole Star Trek movie for a pretty limited budget. Well. Um, okay, let's talk about uh, some movies. Uh, last uh, our today last we celebrate our Independence Day. Hold that thought. Hold yeah, that no, thought. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm a little excited. We uh, our, our DC 10 minutes isn't up yet. We got oh, any more right, DC right. stuff. Quick. We we didn't uh, <laughs> last week. We we were at the Science Center, so we didn't yes, get we a were. chance to do a full uh, episode. We kind of just honed in on the video game portion. Yep, that's true. Uh, so let's do a quick catch up. Uh, <laughs> we have Conjuring Two, which we didn't talk about. Mark, I know you saw it. What were your thoughts on it? I liked it. <laughs> Insightful as ever. Motherfucker. What the hell's a Are you scared? Anyone else? Um, no, no, no. I'm kidding. Um, no, I thought it was, it was very conjuring. It was really well done. It was um, brought a lot to mind. You know, it was a it was a great sequel to the first one. I really liked the further adventures of uh, Ed and Lorraine Warren. I think they're they're great characters. Um. And uh, just, uh, you know, it's just, uh, I'm not a big horror guy anymore. You know, I used to be big into horror. It's not as much anymore, but um, because of the new stuff doesn't turn me on. But the, these movies are pretty Because good. it's all been done. It's all been done before, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but here's, w- I did see it as well. And here's what I liked about it was the fact that they actually are going back to the classic 70s and 80s kind of supernatural horror films Mm -hmm. and so this movie is not a slasher it's not a gore fest this isn't some torture it's a lot of anticipation and scaring the shit out of you by flashing some icky on the screen and then moving on no that's not that's not what this is at all not at all oh it's not this is a great character based supernatural so that that nun actually had character development that's Marilyn Mm -hmm. Manson Okay. Is it really? Marilyn Manson's character had character development? Uh, no. We're talking... This movie is really about Ed and Lorraine Warren. And really? Their, it's and not about the thing that... It's not about the thing that's um, uh, haunting that kid and her family, the 72-year-old well, that whatever their, that's inside... That is their what they call a MacGuffin or a... That's their mission in oh, the movie. Which, oh, which is oh, going to oh. be getting its own movie... The was, nun is yes. going to be spun so off. Wait, 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 wait. Looks like so you're Marilyn saying Manson. Conjuring I'm 2 is, like a, is almost like a, a British X-Files where there's a man and a woman and they go around checking out crazy-ass shit and the story is really about them, not about the crazy-ass shit. Correct. Oh, I didn't know that. But but the, the couple are not British. They're, they're American, but they went over there because that was a true story. The wait, didn't you see the original Conjuring? Heck no. Oh, okay, because it's the, the, the first Conjuring... Brad and Scary Movies don't do well. The first Conjuring is no, about... I, just, I don't judge you, Brad. It. It's Good, about the I'll same couple. I'll bury you in a bucket in the back, cover it with acetone, and they'll never find the well, body. Well, that's a horror film right there, buddy. Oh, don't think I couldn't write my way out of this one. <laughs> to Brad Schindler's Brad, list please. as a horror I mean, film. Denver, please continue. Well, <laughs> yes. The original Conjuring is about this couple helping an American family kind of before they became famous because it's based on real life people. Okay. And so, so these are true stories. Yes. Yeah, so this uh, the sequel is after they have uh, had some acclaim uh, investigating I different. See. Uh, they were the investigators on the Amityville horror right. story. And that was some crazy that's shit. What that, I really that, liked about them. That, that might have been the, the last beginning. time I saw a decent horror movie. The mm-hmm. beginning of it talk, go, talks about the, the. It goes into the Amityville case. And and Brad, the Amityville horror is not a good 
horror movie. You're sadly, sadly mistaken if you think. I didn't say it was good. Oh, okay. I don't, <laughs> I don't care for the genre, so. Well, maybe he's good about the doesn't original. necessarily. It scared me, so that's good enough for me. Well, no, it was a spooky movie. Don't get me wrong, but it was still. Anytime I mean, you know I, that there's a true truth behind it, that it was real, it's even more. Scary. Yeah, and I don't Very believe that. That was making me not go. What I really like in horror movies is atmosphere. <laughs> Although I am often found to be said, "Get out!" Often. That's what Get I want. Out. That's what I want to say many a times doing this podcast. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What the hell was that? Q, I know you're, the, the you're a big uh, wrestling fan. Uh, I mean, you're a fan of wrestling, not a big wrestling fan. Um, anyway, <laughs> did you... Did, big. Did you see... He's got a new writer. Yeah, right. Did you see Central Intelligence with The Rock and... Uh, no, I didn't have a chance. I was too busy... Today, we celebrate <laughs> our Independence Day. Oh, We're sorry. almost there. We're almost there. Okay, um, we talked about Warcraft last week. Um, it didn't do well in the U.S. box office, but it's been killing it overseas, especially China. It has now become the highest grossing video game adaptation of all time, which isn't saying much considering that... Bigger than Wreck-It Ralph? That wasn't an adaptation. That was an original movie wreck it ralph was not a video a pre-existing video oh so movie. it has to be okay, okay okay so it's based on a well it wasn't better than mortal kombat but still. well it's made more money at least than mortal well, kombat. Hey, yeah, yeah, no. but but if you take the money they made step today into the vote, mic carrie ann if you think sorry um if you take today's money and take it back to when mortal kombat made money mortal kombat made more money because the money then was actually worth more money than the money is now worth so. Unless it was Confederate dollars. No, no, not. It was union dollars. money. Yeah, it was the real thing. Greenbacks made out of hemp. Ah, legal tender. Mm-hmm. I'm right. sorry. The good stuff. Well, the, the biggest recent release that we have yet to talk about is Finding Dory. Anyone here? I'm excited. I haven't checked it out. I'm excited, though. Okay, well, I guess since no one's seen it, I'll throw in my two cents. It is a great movie. It's uh, befitting of the Pixar name. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say that it's as good as Finding Nemo, but mm. for a sequel, it's pretty darn good. And it's been. It should be. It took ten years to make it. It's better 20, than Finding Forrester. Yeah, <laughs> definitely better than Finding Forrester. Finding Forrester was a pretty damn. <laughs> hey, we're not saying that things are bad when we like things more than others. So Fish what's what's are. all the crying about? It's That's a, what I want to know. It's a very emotional. I don't want to spoil. Did the Bambi ending. come out and die again? No, but let's just say that. Blame Godzilla for that one. Got eight. <laughs> Let's say that they found Dory. That I, that's not too much of a spoiler, I would say. And okay. I'm not going to say who found Dory, but it was right. A you're saying very, the the reunion was emotional. Yes, is what you're it saying. was a great, great ending okay. to a very fun, a uh, very. I know who found Dory, the deep fryer. That would be eating God. Dory. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, so the... Um, well, let me just finish by saying that what makes Finding Dory unique is that they posit Dory as kind of a special needs yeah. child. Yeah, she's got attention deficit syndrome yes. to the major, but in they, a major way. But they use so, do that mean me talking about her makes me an asshole? No. Okay, but, but what it, it's what, a fish. What You're not talking about a person. They okay. use that as kind of a blanket. Right. I I just saw the trailer where her parents are telling her now this is what you tell the kids. Get on the short bus. Right. I mean, and that's, that's <laughs> he says right. That well, that's basically what it was about. She's like, okay, now you got to remember. Okay, I remember. And then she forgets thirty. I mean, it, it was a 30 second trailer, school. and she's <laughs> no, and she's back to she has the thing, and it's like telling a kid this. I mean, I imagine it was heart wrenching if that's what everybody had to deal with because she needed somebody to tell them her problem, and then she needed an advocate. And I'm so assuming really that's what Dory Ed was, was for, or whatever they what's the name of the well, the, actually, the, se- the septopus. Jill nailed it. It was really Dory Finding herself. embracing what makes her she's an unique. Idiot. Well, she has a different way of doing things. 
She is. Oh, you're so nice. She is learning uh, challenged, I guess. You're so nice. Is this how you guys talk about me when I leave? <laughs> We're not that nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I if only that. you knew. <laughs> this no. movie is a lost cause with you guys, so I'll no, no, I'll, I'll I sell it. Dory is a lost it. call with us. The, week, the movie, the you weekend. Know what? I love this whole storyline because I think we all have a friend that's like Dory, <laughs> and we all have a friend here that. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it's Brad. I don't think anything less of you. <laughs> the, I, I don't know what, what you're talking about. What the movie does is it draws parallels with autism <laughs> yeah, and yeah, other yeah. kind of spectrum He's issues just that me people feel like are an dealing. Asshole, so man. it's definitely, definitely, definitely a good movie. <laughs> it is. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> and it's been making a lot of money. And uh, a lot of money. so much money, it's actually on track uh, to make Disney to be Disney's highest grossing movie of the year. And they've had a lot. Jungle Book. Zootopia, Civil War, those are the top. More than Zootopia? Those are the top three grossing movies. Well, of the I year. tell you what, when Finding Dory comes out on DVD, I'll be the first one to go get it. Well, when is the eating of food coming out? about that Disney stock? <laughs> <laughs> Rats. <laughs> well, I would have, but he doesn't allow my color to, so it's okay. Oh, is, is, it, is Eisner still in charge paint. over there? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, instead of blackface, whiteface. <laughs> I feel an edit point coming on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well then let's stop there yeah. and let's finally talk about independence today. Day we celebrate our Independence Day. All right, I'm I'm assuming that we've all seen it. Yes, and and like a good boy, I watched the original the day before, very so good, I had very, very good. good continuity. Boomer! Oh, sorry. What about that? That's from the original. Oh, okay. He jumps into the car as the things is coming there in the tunnel. And, okay. Well, Sorry. let me just say. Oh, for the dog. Yeah, screaming for the dog, for the yeah, dog yeah, in the subway. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was amazing. I know, I mean, right? I, and I remembered it, too. Yeah. Before we get into our uh, deep dive discussion here, let me just say that uh, Independence Day didn't do so well oh, at yeah, the box uh, office. The tomatoes hate it. 33%. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's the unbelievable. Well, that's the critics. Which and they're all jackasses anyway. Uh, yeah, oftentimes the movie going public does not agree with the critic reception, but uh, it looks like these are <laughs> in sync with each other because Independence Day resurgence lost uh, its opening weekend to Finding Dory, which right. is in its second weekend. So Finding Dory is expected to make about $73 million. There are a lot more kids in the world than adults, too. Independence Day so. is at about $41 million. Yeah. Well, you can't so take your kids. Close, yeah. You can't take your yeah. kids to see Independence Day. You take your kids to door that's double the tickets, double exactly. the money. When I went, when I went to the movies this morning, there were five families, all with little kids, and they were all going to see Dory. Right. And although I was in a fairly well-filled theater, there was more showings of Dory going than, than there were Day. even with regular. Regular uh, Independence Day and 3D. the the 3D and, and the epic, the, right? yeah, right. Yeah. And you have to realize that too. Like, you know, six tickets, no matter how many tickets a regular movie sells, uh, let's say two adults go. That's only two adults, and then it's going to be six kids. That six, a whole family. Let is me gonna just go say, a good door. movie is a good movie, and it trumps all that. I just don't think Independence Day is good enough of a movie to. <clears throat> Beat out Finding Dory. Dory's a great, great movie. Independence Day, I will say, I had a great time watching it. I thought it was a fun movie. It was. It was I a thought fun it movie. was actually better made than the than first the one. original yeah. one. Yeah. Um, and I'm not just talking about special effects. No, no, I'm no. I'm talking about the script. There was the actually better writing. The writing was great. Yeah. And and Jeff Goldblum absolutely stole that movie. The, the, Again. The entire. Or, Hirsch. The entire yeah. original yeah. cast yeah. was awesome in this movie. Yeah, the I just want to say the president had another epic speech before he sacrificed himself. Uh, 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 let's, what? Let's not get what? into what? What did oh, you just oh, blur. Uh, blur. Uh, blur. Uh, blur. Before he, uh, let's I not knew it. A Jewish princess. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> let's not get into spoilers just yeah. yet. We'll talk spoilers, but let's let's just okay. talk about our general impressions. Well, I loved it. It was a eight and a half out of ten. So better or worse than Batman vs Superman? That makes it worse. You mean Dawn Batman of Justice? Batman vs Superman. Is. So what you're? Oh my God, Dawn of Justice. <laughs> Dawn of Justice is a nine. Is still, a nine. Oh, still a nine. Still a nine. Okay. Still a nine. All right, Brad. What? What? what and from what doing? I'm hearing, when this uh, ultimate release comes out, it'll be a ten. It'll still be a nine with me. I fucking hated Lex Luthor, but anyway, I'm sorry. Um. Well, based on the 
Well, what, I'm sorry. What's the question? So Your score. Opinions. Do you recommend this movie? Yeah, absolutely. Got to see it. Got to see it. It's if you like the first one, you got to see it. If you didn't see the first one, rent the first one, then go see it. Um, Who didn't go see the first one? I don't know. There. Well, that was twenty years ago. It was so twenty years ago. Could have been anybody. I seen it. Maybe. I was six when it um, came out. Suffice it, it to say, that's probably one of the reasons why it, it didn't. Do I it doubt so those well. are listening. Yeah, they <laughs> waited too long for yeah. the sequel. Well, yeah, yeah, but from a realistic standpoint, the well, the only thing that I thought was, we're not talking about content yet, right? We're not talking about specifics. We're just okay. Let's. You've already taken too long, Mark. Okay. What's your general well? I, I liked. I liked a lot of stuff about it, and I didn't like some things. I didn't care for the new cast, the younger people. I didn't care for the characters. I 100% agree. They did the Star Wars Force Awakens model where they brought back the original Mm -hmm. cast, but really made the younger cast the 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 forefront. But they didn't do a good job in the character development at all. And the actors. There was none. It it didn't do a good job. They didn't do any. uh, This is a spoiler. Um, We're going to be spoiling stuff, right? Well, let's wait on that. You don't have to spoil it yet. Yeah, so let's just say that the, the original movie, you had Will Smith becoming a superstar. I think before Independence Day, he was a TV actor and rapper. Mm-hmm. This is the movie that made him right. the top box office draw in the world. So, unfortunately, there's nobody in this movie in the young cast that even comes close to doing that. Same yeah, but he thing wasn't that young movie. either. He wasn't a teenager. But yeah, by the time Independence Day came, down. Down. these actors are in their twenties also. Yeah, but they're none of them are. I think Will Smith was like probably about 30, maybe. He almost. was. Yeah, but the point is not the age. The point is... He was young. He was the main character in the movie. Mm-hmm. The main character... But oh, he right. had... Like, didn't they, didn't they but, extend it into Men in Black? But he still yeah, had but, Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. yeah. Hun- yeah. Hunger oh, yeah. Games... At that great, time... Great Hunger Games was not a great... Um, was was not a great actor, and the and the 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 kite border girl. She was cute, but she they should have brought in the actual president's daughter to play the president's daughter. She's a better actress. I don't know what she's doing these days. That's know, the girl who played, who's in Fatherhood, who plays under uh, oh, what's her she? name? Yeah, oh. she's a much better actress. I, I know, know this girl was in It Follows. Micah M- Monroe. Yeah, yeah. and she actually is a great. Actress. I mean, she is, but she, she was flat. Good. Well, there was. Yeah. Well, it's, the, it's it wasn't the, it's her the writing. Yeah. It's the writing. Well, the but they weren't. But they weren't. Writing, they weren't writing for the new stuff as much as they were. They were trying to milk the last. It was a cash grab. If it, if it wasn't Dean Devlin, okay, you guys got to stop in, saying that for everything that comes out. Everything <laughs> that comes out wants to make money. Everything so, is a cash grab. Yeah. So oh. that's, yeah, but there are such things as making money and being a cash grab. No, a, ca- a cash grab is something that is lazy and stupid, and, and they're just I, owning it. I, in. I, like I, killing I, the superhero I, just I, to bring them back. <laughs> Right, like, like, uh, can we can we spoil something now? Because I need to prove that okay, it's a cash well, grab. Let's let's. let's well, we Denver, we didn't get your consensus. What's your? No, no, I I, I agree. Okay. I, I no, I said that it was it was a fun movie. It was it was better than the original. Okay. Or let me say, it's not better than the original. It was better made than the original movie. Oh, okay. Um, As it difference. should be, it's years and, later. And what I like, well, no, this has nothing to do with years later. This was just better written, better mm. constructed. It wasn't as bloated. <laughs> The original was two and a half hours long, yeah, and it was like they could have cut out forty-five minutes of that Probably, movie, and I yeah. would have been happy. But I will say the things that I liked about it: I love the alternate future or right. alternate present that this movie. Oh yeah, it's like it's like it's in another dimension because you like got to think about it. Society, yeah, it's right. like in another they Earth. They use all of the alien because, technology yeah. to rebuild, and I thought that part of it was fascinating. Because yeah, keeping in mind that in their on their Earth, there technically is 2016. Because it it's tw- yeah, so it's like later. a yeah, it's like an alternate Earth from ours. Am I the only one? Because we did we weren't invaded by aliens in 1996. <laughs> now, am I the only one that <laughs> well, really like thinks that this shit is real? Like Party you know, we, they, we have happen. so many movies about this alien shit. I always leave movies like that thinking, man, are we being watched by aliens? <laughs> I don't care. Whatever. Yeah. Let them watch. Shot. We're, we're all watch. being watched by the NSA, so who gives a fuck? Sure. But um, uh, I hope I'm giving them a thrill every night when I'm alone in bed. Oh, <laughs> a chill, man. Ew. Not a thrill. Ew. <laughs> too much information. I threw up again. The other thing that a I liked in about my mouth too. Yeah. The other thing that I really liked about it was that <laughs> the stakes seemed much more real and intense. In this movie, yeah. when people were dying 
and things were being destroyed, you felt you it felt a it. lot more than in the original. <sighs> well, that's what the that is what the younger cast brought to it is they brought more emotion. More gravitas. Yes, more emotion well, to the screen where we didn't get that in the first one because almost nobody died. Yeah. Well, you got to think about one. it. The, yes. the younger characters are more emotionally attached to the older characters. Well, they're, they're not just... The older characters, you, they had to develop them in the first movie. So you, you, know, you get what I'm saying? So you couldn't kill them because they had to develop them. No, you're 100% right. The reason I think that there's a lot of that uh, emotional uh, center to the movie is from the original cast members. Right. Um, which is the same thing that happened in Force Awakens. So they did steal that in, in a good way. Um, and I think the problem that I had is the same thing that Mark had was with the young cast. I like those actors, but they just really weren't. Right, but if they spent any more time developing those characters, it would have been a four-hour fucking movie. Well, they could have spent well. they could have spent less time with the original cast. Although my preferences but. with the original cast because those are great actors. I thought Brett Spiner oh, was he, awesome. Yes. He yeah. stole the show. Yeah, yep. he did. I thought Bill Pullman, like you said, his big speech was mm-hmm. awesome. Mm-hmm. And, right, because we were sure he was broken. So the fact that he could come up with a speech was actually quite remarkable. Yeah, to see right. him kind of come back. back and rally yeah. everybody. It oh, was. I was glad to see Robert Loja. He he that died. Was awesome. He well, died last December. Right. I was gonna say. And I was yeah. like, did they CGI his face yeah, in there? They, they green screened yeah. him in. That was really cool. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, because yeah, he didn't react when. He made when he Bill just, Pullman he made eye contact. Sat there, like looking I, all like crippled and old. Yeah. You know? Well, because yeah. he would have been there and. 90 years old. Well, he died of Alzheimer's, so he, you know, so he was probably sick when that movie was made. Oh yeah, okay. They I might would have like to see a movie like this him, like, turn into like a sitcom. Like you know, they have Scandal. I hate that show, but if you could put that with Aliens, how fucking cool would that be? Well, actually, there is a show just like that that's on its second episode. It's called Brain Dead. It's on CBS. It's a political comedy. The Old People Channel. The Old People Channel. It's, <laughs> it's not a great show, but it's enough. Just to keep me watching, it stars Mary Elizabeth Winstead, hmm. who was in Clo- 10 Cloverfield Lane, oh. um, and okay. uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. And it's about alien ants that come and take over people's brains. Oy. Sort of and like in Starship Troopers. It. Well, it's, it's <laughs> Starship Troopers 2. What this Electric is, Boogaloo. is Invasion of the Insect Body Snatchers. It's, it's Veep. Versus Invasion of the Body Snatchers. So it takes okay. place all in, in Washington, and it's trying to be comical. And people, when the ants go inside, their brain explodes, and they take over, and they listen to uh, um, Cars music. I was going to say, what, do they listen to ACDC? <laughs> you might think it's crazy. Uh, oh. <laughs> so the problem is it's not funny enough. Or there's and there's not enough sci-fi elements. It's kind of this weird in between. So if you're a diehard fan like me, I recommend it. But for the casual viewers, I would say Fuck skip it. it. Right. So back on track. Stay on target. Let's get into <laughs> really? the spoiler aspect. All right. So the- anyway, like I was saying before, I was really interrupted. That speech he gave before he <laughs> sacrificed himself to kill the alien queen was remarkable. Like Brad said, the whole movie we thought that he was just crazy as hell, broken. Everybody thought he was just done for. Well, he was essentially suffering from PTSD. Pretty much. It, you know, so he was shell shocked. Right, but a, but a singular movie. but a but a, a, a singular entity introduced into a hive mind and then have it ripped out. Mm-hmm. We've seen over the years of many close things like that represented that it would leave you well, cat- catatonic or, or comatose in the case right. of Brent Spiner, where yeah. he had the Dr. same thing. Oakum. Dr. Oakum, yeah. Dr. Oakum. So. So. And I got to say, his, his uh, gay lover, partner, whatever, those two were the best couple in the movie. I got to say, their interplay and their relationship was awesome. Right. So when he, spoiler alert, when yeah. the partner dies at the end, yeah. I was, I was kind of choked up. Right. And I also got choked up when Vivica Fox died. That's when I got choked up. She hasn't up. aged well. Have I mentioned that? No, she hasn't. That's not she's still was, fine. That's not what I was going to say. The part that got 
to me was when uh, Bill Pullman was flying. Oh, his daughter, daughter and yeah. He says, I'm not saving the world. I'm saving, saving you. you. And I, as a well, parent, as a I was as a like, as a oh, father, yeah, that's as a, a parent, I yeah. Lost it. That was great. And so that's to me what the original movie didn't have. It didn't have well, that emotional heart. It had the explosions. It had the effects. It had the fun, the action. It but was, it didn't have that kind of that emotional resonance that this movie. Well, you got to remember when the first movie when the first movie started, it started out right with the aliens, like. The first scene so was invading. they they were invading, so you didn't have time to realize that Will and Vivica, you know, or this that's or that, bad, and then they tried writing. to throw it in while they were just floating up there. But by that time, you're like, bring on the fucking fireworks, like bring on the weapons, bring on the fights, you know, bring this, bring it on. And so, but in this one, they had that time because by this time, well, yeah, you had you're all, years the, you had twenty so. years, yeah. so you already know. The, the older characters, you can kind of get a sense of what they've gone through. The newer characters is kind of like, okay, you you just getting here, you know, but we've known what the older characters have gone through over these 20 years, and then those uh, the uh, little newscasts they were bringing out before the movie came out with Jeff Goldblum really helped. Trying to get people up to Trying to get people yeah. up to speed really helped as well, because then, but those were all centered around the older characters too. Well, that was them explaining why Will Smith wasn't in the movie. Pretty much. <laughs> All right, let's talk about uh, our favorite parts of the movie. My favorite part was the queen, the Godzilla-sized queen at the end of the movie. Oh, that was awesome. I was joking when we were watching the movie. I said, "Watch, Godzilla's gonna come out and fight this queen." <laughs> that would have been cool too. That would have been amazing. <laughs> but no, what I liked was that they. You know, essentially, it's the same premise. The aliens come and mm-hmm. blow up the world. But they did enough different things with it. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that it separated and made it unique well, on its own. Well, the fact right. that they. The queen they, being. The, the fact bringing in the queen in this movie explained why in the first movie, when they would kill the mothership, everything else would stop. Right. Because yeah. that's what happens when a queen dies. With everything a, stops. Everything right. Stops. And I also love the fact that they explained why they were coming here, to drill to the center of, of our the earth, earth and right. drain our, the well, energy from our yeah, core. Yeah, not he just did destroy say, us, you yeah. know. He did say in the first one, if you remember that they're here, but in the in the first one it was take terraforming. All the no, terraforming. Well, they terraforming. Take all the resources. Yeah, yeah they wanted to take all the resources. all the resources. And I guess they we didn't realize they were what going they were doing. Drill. The, well, earth, because the Earth's core is the ultimate resource. We got to remember, in the first this one, no ship landed. In this one, a ship had landed. We didn't cool know. Too. We didn't know this. We didn't know. Right. We didn't know this. Were they like, uh, what was it? The Pacific or the Atlantic? Oh, yeah. They're Atlantic. over the Atlantic. And it's like, which part? All, All of, of it. it. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool. I like, I like, the, I like guys the guys in the, the ship. Yeah, in the boat. <laughs> hey, they want us to keep an eye on these people. Uh, tell them, tell them for $100 million. I'm going to put my earmuffs dollars. on now at this <laughs> hey, point. do it. <laughs> <laughs> They said okay. Jill, we they said was like spoilers. I know. <laughs> they all getting sober. This like slapping each other. Like, wake up! Wake up! <laughs> but the problem started way before that. The problem of the stupid humans that should all should have died because they really didn't learn anything in fucking twenty years. And although they don't fight amongst themselves, anything pops out of a fucking wormhole, which these asshole uh, bullshit praying mantis fuckers never did in a ship not shaped like anything they ever had, comes out of a wormhole, and they fucking blow it out of the sky. What yeah. the well, fuck? And, uh, well, maybe they thought it was a Borg ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and, this and, is yeah, futile. And, and it turns out, now, now, I do understand that they had to, they had to not engage it, or there wouldn't have been a movie. Well, no. Because if they engaged it, then, because that was what we find out later would have been a rescue craft, that the little that the little, the little ball, ball uh, the it's bird, the like if we would have shot down Kal El's ship before it landed here on Earth. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but exactly. I, no, 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 no. You're missing the point. No, no. I think, Brad. I, I think you're point. missing the point. Yeah, you're. The missing reason the point. I, oh, the, fuck the, you. The, the reason <laughs> I bought it completely was they've had 20 years of Stop these touching me. massive weapons that they built, and they haven't had a chance to use it. And what does any gun lover like to do? They like to fucking shoot their guns off. Trigger happy. Right. Trigger happy. And so these are military assholes you remember. that just are waiting for any excuse right. to shoot their guns. And lasers. yet the guy that saved the rest the first time said, you know, 
I don't think you should shoot it. And they all said, well, yeah, let's let's just well, blow it out of the sky because we're a bunch okay. of dumb shits. But you didn't gotta, learn fuck. But you got to remember something. Still trigger fucking happy Americans. That's what we are. Trigger happy. It Americans. wasn't just the Americans that wanted to shoot it out. No. Now, if you think about that. it, they were. It was. It was a couple of them that said, "Don't shoot it." And it was Who the, had the final vote? The, the president, president of the United States of America, uh, Hillary and Clinton. She shot it. And the other thing to remember is the last time they saw an alien, it destroyed half the planet. So I kind of understand why they would want to shoot out Ew. any aliens before they had a chance. Nah, to but I do. Sticks, baby. And I, but I do agree with Brad to a point because I was in the movie theater like, don't shoot it. Well, don't shoot it. And when she's like, fire, I'm like, you dumb son of, of a course bitch. Everybody, what the fuck is wrong with you? Of course, everybody in the theater from our you know, perspective was like, don't do it, don't do it. That's what they wanted you to think. Don't shoot that Death Star. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, actually, it looked like uh, what was that thing in Hitchhiker's Guide? Yeah, guy? it looked like the alien head. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Robot. yeah. Robot head. Marvin. Marvin, yes, that yeah. is it. Okay. Anyway. Okay, so I'm just saying. Since we're on that topic. Okay. That is Marvin. We're on Marvin. Well, no. we're on okay. this uh, this alien technology. Yeah. That gave up its body to live virtually, virtually in order to help other other races avoid destruction by the praying mantis. Falling and, skies much? And that okay. was introduced to set up the two sequels. supposed sequels, right. whether or not this makes enough move. And that was my point. That, that. that is why I said it's a cash grab, because they waited 20 years for them to bring it out, whip it out, and have one character that will launch a whole other series of fucking overpriced, overlong and movies. now I'm just waiting on the fact that when Will Smith pulls his head out of his ass, they're going to say, oh, he didn't die in the plane crash. The aliens abducted him five years ago, and well, we no, haven't seen him since. With this uh, virtual technology, they could make him a sphere. So oh, yeah, you could. Cracking jokes. Yeah, you could. You could. Getting jiggy with it. No, 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 no. Okay. Getting digi with it. Yeah, no. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, the, the that's bad puns keep uh, on. Yeah, they just keep on coming. Yeehaw. Yes, that's the knee slapper. That's what we call those. <laughs> okay, so these guys that made... Independence Day, Dean Devlin and Roland Emmerich. Yeah. Okay. They also made Stargate. Mm-hmm. And, SG-1. And they are going to be rebooting the movie into another trilogy. Apparently, when they made the original Stargate, they wanted to make three of them. The yeah. rights were pulled by the studio, and they weren't able to finish the two other movies. So the only way they claim to finish the trilogy is to retell the original story absolutely fine with me that was the last time tv was any good was the last well this has nothing to do with the tv show this is based on the movie that's fine um i own it i'll watch it occasionally and mark i know uh you're a a movie buff tell us uh dean devlin and roland emmerich who made the original independence day and the sequel um they made a series of movies in the 90s um, and they were really the only guys doing big budget sci fi movies. Like the Irwin Allen, uh, the, you know, disaster movies like uh, 2012. Well, that, that's and what made those movies tomorrow. unique is they took sci fi and then they took the disaster pick, which was big in the 70s, and they kind of merged them together into something kind of new, even though. They it was, did Godzilla. Well, uh, in in 1992, they did Universal Soldier. That was their first movie together. Great. Um, The success of that, two years later, they did Stargate, Mm -hmm. 94. Then two years after that, they did Independence Day. So you could see each movie, they kept getting bigger. This makes more and more money. They did one every two years. Then Godzilla after that. Godzilla. Unfortunately. Then Day After Tomorrow. Well, no, the, the... the last movie that they did together was The Patriot, the Mel Gibson oh, right, right. Uh, period. That was a good piece. movie. That was, that a good was movie. 2000. After that, they kind of went their separate ways. Mm-hmm. Roland Emmerich continued to do kind of those big budget sci fi The Day After yeah, Tomorrow, 2012. 2012. And then it was the 10,000 BC one. Yep. Yep. Librarian, and then they did. Uh, they <laughs> did White Brad House to Down. mention that one. Dean Devlin, producer. No, we're awesome. talking about Roland Emmerich. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yes, Dean Devlin did go on to do a bunch of TV shows. Yeah. Essentially, I was like, yeah. leave it to Brad to bring up the librarian. I oh yeah, had an opportunity. Yeah, I took it. Yeah, I see that. White House Down. 
Yeah, White House Down was wasn't a bad movie. Yeah, was I noticed Emirates. some of the actors from that movie were in the new Independence <laughs> Day. The, the girl that was driving the, the station, the, the car with all their kids. Oh, she was the daughter? She, she was the daughter waving the flag at the end. Oh, okay. And then and then the guy that was with um, Jeff Goldblum, the dude with the glasses, that was hanging around with the, with the African guy. Oh, with the nerdy the guy? He was the White House uh, tour guide in, in White House Down. Oh, okay, very So there was the very same director. I'm sure he brought a lot of his own like favorite cast members. So let me ask you this, guys. Are we excited if, let's say, th- this movie pulls a Warcraft and does big box office around the world? It will. Um, and It'll do enough to get a sequel. Okay, do I, so I, do I want to so see the movies that, that when Brent Spiner says, I got two words for you, interstellar travel, and I'm thinking, Data, you're back on the Enterprise. Yeah, I- I'll, I'll go see it. My yeah, because he had to get oh, yeah, them. Definitely. He had to give him the sick bay. Did you catch that? He's like, I gotta get you to sick bay. <laughs> Star Trek. He's like, I gotta get you to sick bay. Um, am I excited? Let's see if I can sum no, this up. Are you excited about Independence Day? The sequel, Surgeon sequel. Yeah, let me yeah. see if I can sum this up. I'd love to see that. Well, I didn't care if you were excited. Today, <laughs> <laughs> today is our Independence Day. No, you have to say it right. Today we celebrate our Independence Day again. No, why would I say Today, anything? we celebrate our Independence Day. Pretty much. Your Independence that's, Day? That's what? That, <laughs> David, that is my best President Whitmore impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or what did he say before, before he blew himself up? On behalf of all of planet Earth, happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. Or no, he said Happy Fourth of July. Yeah, have Happy Fourth of July. July. I knew it. A Jewish princess. <laughs> <laughs> and no dinosaurs. No dinosaurs. No, no, no dinosaurs. No dinosaurs. I was expecting at least a T-Rex. Lots of, some lots chaos of, theory. Lots of, <laughs> lots of chaos. I was just going to be Lots of fun. chaos. <laughs> All right, so uh, I just want to tell everybody no podcast next week. We will Aww. be in Miami. Oh, Miami. yeah. Speedo for Jill. Welcome no to sp- Miami. Miami. For Jill. <laughs> Speaking of Will Smith, that's so, what I, that's what so I yes, listen to. We will return in... Two weeks, hopefully, if we survive Welcome the trip. To my, uh, so. But stay hopefully. tuned. We will be posting pictures on our social media. Yes, and of uh, Q and his thong. That's right. <laughs> I look very damn good. At my we want to see some Make Baywatch. Sure it's not mo- a brown thong. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Batman. It's Batman. The Batman thong. Ooh, Batman utility thong. Belt? Yes. Okay. Oh, a utility belt thong. <laughs> <laughs> all yellow. <laughs> all yellow. Well, hey, you know, now you all can really kiss out my the ass. Dental floss. <laughs> oh, that was part of the thong. Sorry. <laughs> now you what all really this utility kiss belt? You got your sunblock. Sunblock. Uh, I got a batarang here. I got. Let's see. What's on some of sunblock? Few extra. Ca- oh. Sorry. <laughs> Inflatable cod piece. <laughs> food. Lots of food. Lots of food. Yeah. Fat bat. Lots of food. I got a hot dog, hamburger, a couple of potato chips. <laughs> the usual. All right. On that note, Brad, please take us away. Okay. Well, take my I, I think everybody away. needs to be reminded because I apparently have been so lax in my duties to tell you to please subscribe to our podcast because we want to see you. Every week, subscribe. listening to us. That's a little contrary, but subscribe. yes. Please do that. Uh, please visit our uh, sponsor's website, ableideas.com, and buy Able some comic books because ideas. that's what keeps us on I'm the air. Because I'm in Hi. Yeah, that's because Jill wants you to <laughs> see I will her be in them, but book. I can't fit on the page. So yeah, okay. see, there you go. Uh, yes, well, for, for Denver, Mark, Jill, Q, and Independence Day, the broadcast. We are closing up Podcast 26. Mark, you have something to say? You are leaning forward. No. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for being here. We will see you in two weeks. Make sure to get your sunscreen because peeling skin is disgusting. Welcome to Miami. Miami, Miami, Miami.